Tennessee's top row crop is solid in many parts of the state. When you look out across farmland here, you'll see more acres of soybeans than anything else. Beans are a little cheaper to raise as a general rule than corn. It doesn't take the nitrogen and uh, the fertilizer and seed costs aren't quite as high, but uh, it's, it's a matter of economics. You know, we are always interested in increasing yield if we can do it economically. There's the key, the dollars it costs to raise soybeans. Dr. Angela McClure and UTIA graduate student Casey Cannon are studying growing techniques used by producers in yield contests. Yes, you can grow outrageously yielding soybeans, but it takes lots of fertilizer and other expensive practices. But can this be done over a large field? Increasing nitrogen fertilizer is one possibility. Looking at different rates of nitrogen on a soybean crop to optimize our yield, we're really wanting to uh, reach that 100 bushel per acre. American farmers have been growing soybeans for more than a century. A hundred years ago, they averaged about 10 bushels an acre. Today, it's closer to 50, and we could even double or triple that amount. However, it's not as simple as putting more seed in the ground, but within reason, it's doable. UTIA researchers are looking at narrow row planting, creating a small jungle of soybean plants just 15 inches apart, about half the normal space. If we have enough rain, the right variety that will branch, uh, we can increase yield by doing nothing more than planting on a narrow row versus like a 15 versus a 30 inch row. The, the positive on the 15 inch row with the narrow row spacing, quicker canopy, quicker weed suppression, um, we think that we can lose less water if we cover the ground, you know, shade that ground with leaves. McClure believes there's merit to using yield contest techniques in everyday farming, such as adequate seeding rates and planting early to lengthen the growing season. As our population increases, we need to grow more crops on the same amount of land. And science could provide the answers to just how we'll do that. This is Charles Denny reporting.